Hi everyone, I just wanted to give you an update on a few important announcements that are gonna be uh, important for you for the next couple of weeks. So let's begin. Number one, you due dates. So basically since the beginning of this trimester up until today, we've been offering you, and I mean we all teachers, have been offering you the opportunity to make up any missed work that you've had or make any improvements on work since the beginning of the trimester. If you have not already seen it, the principal has sent out this message which basically is telling you that that will not last forever. So this Friday, May 15th, is the last day that you can turn in any assignments from March and from April. It's the last time. So go into PowerSchool right now, or after this video, check all your grades, and look for two things. If you have any zeros, go and fix those assignments. And if you have any um, assignments that you're not happy with, that have um, a grade that's lower than what you want, even if it's lower than a 10, improve those and then send me a message telling me that you fixed it and that it's been returned or turned in on PowerSchool, on uh, Google Classroom, sorry. Once you complete that, um, make sure you get it done by Friday, May 15th, because that is the last day. After that, whatever grade you have stays with what you have. And pretty much from this point moving forward, we're only gonna be focusing in on the final project. So please take a moment, go to your Google, um, go to PowerSchool, check your grades, and make up any assignments that have a zero in them. All right, that's number one. Second thing I wanna talk about, you're speaking of one of the assignments, if you have not already seen it, your HIQ fours are going into the PowerSchool now. I'm going, I'm grading them. It's taking me a little bit longer than I would like um, because I'm reading everything, but trust me when I say I am um, keeping in mind that this was all completely on your own and it was your, uh, and a lot of you did put a lot of hard work into it, so I really want to do a right job grading it. Now, when you get those grades into PowerSchool or even in Google Classroom, if you have any questions on it or you wanna talk to me about why you got what you got if you're not, if, if something's unclear, or if you wanna talk about how to make improvements on it, email me, I'll set up a time, we can do a video conference if you want, uh, we can do a chat, we can do, I'll find a way for us to communicate so I can explain to you what it is that you need to do. Speaking of, I actually came, um, found a really new and interesting way for us to communicate that is live chat so that we don't have to wait for email back and forth or Google Classroom back and forth. That leads me to number three. So if you go to a regular tab on Google and you press the nine buttons on the right and you jump down to jump down to chat and you click on chat, it's gonna open up basically a chat function through Google that we can have. So I'm gonna lower my screen a little bit so you can see what it looks like. It's gonna look something like this. And I don't know if you guys are gonna have chats on your left-hand side if you've done them before, um, but if you have, this is what it should look like or it should look familiar. You're gonna go up here where it says find people. You're gonna click on find people. And I'm gonna put in my sister's name, but you're gonna put in my name. This is just an example. You know what, I'm gonna go to Schlegel. This, it should pop up. You click on it, and now you have access to a chat. All you have to do is send me a message down here. You can't really see it because of the screen. Let me raise it a little bit. All you have to do is send me a message here, like that. You press send, and it will pop up on my computer, and then we can actually have a live one-on-one -on -one chat pretty much any time that I'm in my Gmail, which will be, it's pretty much during the whole entire day. So if you wanna do a live chat, that's a really easy way for you to contact and communicate with me. All right, that's number three. Let's go to number four, um, IXL. I have put your grades in for IXL. If you have any, um, if you, um, it doesn't send me an email if you actually go in and fix it. So. If you make any improvements or you finish your IXL and you master the skills that I wanted you to, please send me an email and say, Mr. Hator, I just finished the IXL so I can go in and check it out because I don't get um, uh, any emails on that or notifications, all right? And then last but not least, um, I wanted to, let me just go here. I wanted to say thank you. Let me see if I can make this bigger. I wanted to say thank you to all of you. Um, the letters I spoke to the other teachers; um, they were really uh, they they were really appreciative for the letters that you all sent. They it made their day, it made their week, and it you know in these times where we're all kind of just drifting apart and feeling 
um, like we're unconnected and maybe, you know, we don't know how we're doing as teachers or maybe there's, you know, all of that different um, emotions. The letters really did help uh, bring us back to reality and remind us why we do what we do. And it's for you. So uh, thank you all for the letters. Uh, and, that and that includes myself. Thank you for sending those for those of you who send them to me. Um, they came out really well and uh, we appreciate it. Thank you again. So basically that's the uh, update for today. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. You can send me again through the chat or anything like that. Uh, hope you're all doing well. I miss you all and I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.